Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Miss Dehino's Lego Robotics. Happy 2021, you guys. <sighs> yes, brand new year, and hopefully your new year has started off really well. Today's video, this thing is so big, I can probably not even get it into the shot. I have Miss Dehino's combined EV3, Spike Prime, and Inventor Trash Truck. It is so cool. It was one of those things where it just took me forever. It's one of those projects where I had it in my mind for months and I finally got some inspiration. So if you want to see what my inspiration was and this robot, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so happy 2021. Hopefully you liked my year ending 2020 video. That was really cool to be able to look back and just be able to see everything that happened, you know, in this crazy wacky year that we just had. But you know what? We're on to bigger and better things, right? So let me go ahead and tell you the story. Um, I've had this trash truck in my mind for the longest time. In fact, I've done many trash truck videos. In fact, I'll leave you some links to the trash videos that I've done. Trash can, trash robots. And it's just been one of those fascinating things. But I've always wanted to do a trash truck because I'm pretty fascinated when the trash truck comes by my house and picks up the trash can. And so I was in that Dollar Tree store, you know, the one that I got my inventor uh, organizational trays from, and my wife had passed by a whole box of these things. And I, as soon as I saw this, I'm like, no way, this is confirmation that I need to do this trash truck. It's actually supposed to be a pencil holder, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's the perfect size for this robot. I have one like this and it's smaller. Um, I, it'll, I'll show it to you in the video. I, I did a video where my students had to build a robot to pick up tr a trash can like this, but it was smaller. So when I saw this, I'm like, no way, this is really cool. So I, I told myself I had to complete the robot that would pick this up and dump some, you know, whatever I could put inside like the real trash trucks. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you basically how I built this thing and how it's EV3 combined with Spike Prime combined with Inventor Kit. And then I definitely am excited to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and first take a look at how I built this robot. Okay, guys. So there is Mr. Hino's EV3 Spike Prime and Inventor trash truck. So let me go ahead and give you a grand tour of everything and then I'll show you how this thing works. So man, I just loved how the Spike Prime and Inventor have these base plates here. Totally saved me a lot of work here. So I have the, uh, the grabber. I'll leave you the instructions to this grabber. You've seen this before. And then I basically put it on uh, the track here. So after the grabber you know, grabs hold of the trash can, then this will, like you've seen in the other, you know, videos of trash cans or just down your neighborhood, it's going to lift it and then dump the trash into this container here, which I made again out of Spike Prime and Inventor, those giant picture frames. Look at all those ball bearings I used. I just needed some support for this platform. And then it's going to dump it into this container and then hopefully... I haven't been, you know, successful 100% of the time. Have it place the trash can back the way it was. Now, you guys know around your neighborhood, the trash truck doesn't always set your trash can back the way it was. So we're going to do the best we can. Um, we have the inventor wheels here. So we're running two large motors down here. One medium motor for the grabber. And then this large motor here. That's going to run this uh, up, up the chain here or the track. Okay, so it's going to be very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and watch this thing work. 
Okay, so picture this trash truck coming by your neighborhood. There's your trash can. Let's go ahead and start this program. There are the arms coming in. Not too bad. I was hoping the trash can would stand up. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out. Yep, there were four of those teal biscuits inside of the trash. Let's check that the trash is empty. Yep, trash can's empty and the container is full. Off to the next house. So, very successful for this trash truck here. Um, everything worked. So, the hard part here. Every now and then I have to push those blue connectors back in. This was probably the toughest part, was to attach this grabber here. Um, just because it didn't allow, um, you know, after a little bit of tinkering here, it didn't allow me to easily to get something into these holes right here. So that was the hard part, is getting support for it. Because this grabber is heavier, heavier than you think. And for this whole track to hold that in there, that was pretty tough. So, yeah, it doesn't stay in there perfectly. And I can't put anything back there because then it'll mess it up when it gets to the top here. So that is something I just have to keep pushing in. Um, other than that, yeah, this, was, this worked out pretty well. Um, that was the other hard part, was to be able to put the can back. There's so much gravity um, working on this can that it's hard to not have this thing come back down and slam it onto the ground here. So that actually is pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, this was so much fun I thought I would try it again. So there's the four teal biscuits into the trash. Close the lid like you guys do on trash day. Put it right next to the curb. Let's go ahead and start this program. Here comes the trash truck. Just want this thing to put it down a lot softer and nicer. Oh. No. But it did put the trash into the container. So we're just having to work on having it not demolish your trash can. Okay, let's give this a shot. I was still not happy with the way that the trash truck was putting the trash can down. So I held on. I made the grabber hold on to the can a little tighter. And then I made the program, the block that brings the can back out. I just made it as slow as I could just so that it's not, you know, whipping around and slamming it against the ground. Okay, not too bad. Leaning on its lid. It, at least it didn't flip it over off the table. At least it didn't destroy the can. I'll take that. And we have four biscuits in the container. So cool. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't completely satisfied with the way the robot was putting the can down on the ground after it dumped out the trash. So let's go ahead and figure out how to get this robot to place the can down so that it stays upright.
Yes, it did it. Okay guys, yes, I did it. It was bugging me and I wanted to have it lift the can, empty the trash, and I wanted this robot to gently put the can down and have it stand up when it did that. So it was one of those things where I wasn't sure whether it was gonna happen and I'm glad it did. Okay, guys, so there you go. It was really cool having to, you know, or not having to, but it was nice to be able to use all of the pieces from, again, Spike Prime, Inventor, and EV3, all working together to get that accomplished. So that was, that was awesome. So that is the first build of 2021. Could this possibly be one of the top 10 of 2021? I guess we'll have to find out at the end of the year. So hopefully you guys liked it. And again, I'll put down in the description, I'll put the instructions on how to, you know, I think it was, I did a video on how to do the grabber. And then the, uh, the track system, that's definitely a link that I'll send you to if you guys want to try to do this. It was super satisfying to be able to get this done. And it was just one of those ones where it was satisfying because it took so long and I've quit before and I just went, Nah, this is too hard for right now. I got busy. And, you know, it was just really cool that this Christmas vacation, I was able to take some time and get that done right. So it was very cool. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you liked just the way it kind of, again, mimics real life situations where, you know, we see this garbage truck every week. And it's just one of those cool things to see it finally come together in a robot like this. So... Okay, guys, hopefully you loved it. Hopefully you're going to you know, start off this 20, 2021 year off to a good start. I love how this kicked off our year, guys. Okay, guys, you take care. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.